Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about interdiction. And if your loved one has suffered a traumatic brain injury and is involved in litigation, and the severity of the brain injury is, e is severe enough that they cannot handle their own affairs, it's important to consider an interdiction. Now, an interdiction is where a person is appointed to handle the affairs for another because they cannot either physically or mentally handle those affairs. And um, in a litigation setting, in case there are any sort of um, settlements or a judgment, it's very important because that mechanism will protect your loved one from either being taken advantage of by another or if they make bad deals or if um, there is what's called a Medicare set-aside. If they are a Medicare recipient, um, then sometimes a Medicare set-aside is required whereby a certain amount of funds are put to the side to use for any um, health care costs that are attributable to the accident that caused a traumatic brain injury for a number of years until those funds are either depleted fully or the requisite time passes where uh, those funds have not been used and then can be returned to the injured person. The procedure um, obviously is involved in a court and it is going to require doctor testimony or medical records which establish that from a physical or psychiatric or other mental standpoint, the person cannot handle their own affairs for themselves. Some, in some jurisdictions, the person is required to appear in court and testify so that the judge can then make an independent determination or combine that testimony with the medical records or medical testimony to determine whether or not the person is interdictable. If they are, then <clears throat> a tutor will be appointed to handle their affairs and they are held to a very high legal duty, as you might imagine, in order to make sure that that injured person is protected. Um, it's also important in that regard that the tutor coordinate with the various people involved in the settlement or judgment, such as accountants or investment people, to make sure that those funds are preserved and protected so that the injured person has the, the amount of money that they may need for their lifetime for housing, medical care costs that perhaps are not covered by Medicare or some other health insurance plan, or for various other personal reasons. I hope today's video has been helpful for you and we'll talk again soon.